and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an eyebrow tutorial which is highly requested from my followers because I've been getting endless amounts of messages asking me how I feel in my eyebrows and what products I use. So just as a heads up, I did forget to kind of take pictures of the products that I use and kind of videotape them. But I'll listen down below and I'll tell you when we're going through the video. Also, some parts of the video might be cut off a little, but it's not too bad. You could still follow it, of course. So before we get onto the tutorial, I just want to give you a few tips and tricks before you start filling your eyebrows. My first tip to you, especially for beginners and they don't really know what they're doing because I was like that before. I really suggest that you get your eyebrows threaded or waxed or at least like clean them up yourself. Like you could tweeze it or anything, but the problem with tweezing is that sometimes you tweeze too much and your eyebrow shape is just going to get messed up. Um, so what threading and waxing will do is it'll give you like a nice clean shape, basically like a guideline to follow when you fill in your brows. Um, they do have at home wax kits that you could do by yourself. But if you're just starting, I would suggest that you go to a professional first. I used to get my eyebrows waxed at the Benefit Brow Bar and it cost $20. But I started to get my eyebrows threaded because it's cheaper, it's only $7. And I feel like it lasts a lot longer. Um, so it's totally up to you. Also, aside from getting your eyebrows threaded or waxed, I suggest that you keep your eyebrows hairs trimmed and just nicely groomed and all that stuff. Getting, keeping your eyebrows really cleaned and groomed will make it easier to fill in your brows because you have a specific shape to follow, like I said at the beginning of the video. So that's my number one tip, get it cleaned, get it groomed. Um, they do have like at home kits that you could get the drugstore product which will come with the spoolie and some eyebrow scissors that you could use to trim. Uh, the next tip that I would suggest which you don't really have to follow but if you're just starting out like I said, be sure that you follow your natural eyebrow shape because you don't want to go out having eyebrows that are just weird looking because um, I've seen some girls eyebrows that like the front is just way too sharp looking it kind of just look, looks like little triangles like it'll just kind of be like a triangle shape and then like the rest will be looking fine it's just like the front part and you don't really see a lot of people having kind of triangle looking eyebrow shapes as you know as to like the most common we see are square eyebrows and round eyebrows. So also keep in mind that every girl has a different eyebrow shape. So just because you're not used to seeing square eyebrows does not mean that it's a weird shape. It's one of the most common shapes. Like I don't know if you've ever seen any of the makeup gurus pictures. Most of them have squared eyebrows, square eyebrow shapes. So yeah so just follow your natural eyebrow shape if you're just getting started um once you like kind of get more advanced to it you could kind of just play around with it i've seen some girls do straight eyebrows instead of like one with an arch so it really just depends on your preference and kind of your experience i guess once you get once you know how to really fill your eyebrows and once you like get to know in your shape a lot better, you could always just try out new different shapes if you're really comfortable with it. But of course, that's just my tip for begin for beginners. If you're advanced in it, then go on and do whatever you're comfortable with. Um, my last tip would be investing in a brow gel. This will really keep your eyebrow hairs into place. All right, guys. So I first want to apologize for me sounding stuffy. I'm getting sick right now. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm taking a spoolie and I'm brushing my hairs into place. And now I'm taking a wax pencil from the Salon Perfect Brow Kit and I'm just applying that on my brows to make sure my brows stay in place while I fill in my eyebrows. So 
I'm going in with a spoolie again and I'm basically brushing off the excess product from the wax. So I'm taking my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Chocolate and I'm basically just going to go in with the angle brush and outline the bottom part of my eyebrow only right now. And now I'm just going to be outlining the top of my eyebrows and remember what I said at the beginning, I'm just following my natural eyebrow shape. brush and I'm taking a little bit more product and filling in my brows except for the front part of my brows. So the, for the front part of my brows, I'm not putting any more product on because I want this part to be lighter. So I'm basically just taking whatever on my brush and I'm pushing up. How I fill my brows is I follow the way the hair grows. So when it grows upwards, I just um, stroke upwards and if it goes if it goes from the right side to the left side I go that direction and I would prefer to use small strokes that's another tip for you from the beginning and I'm just brushing off the excess product from my eyebrows. So I'm going in with a lighter concealer and I'm basically outlining my entire brow with the concealer. This will just clean up any mistakes you made and also highlight that eyebrow area. I'm just going with another brush and I'm blending that concealer out. I'm now taking um, a brow gel from Makeup Forever and I'm just applying that on my brows to make sure that it stays intact all day long. 